Okay, so in this experiment we've got some butadiene here and it reacts to make another chemical here. Um, so the only reaction we've got is butadiene and we've been given the concentration of butadiene over time as the reaction occurs and it's coming down because it's been used up. Draw a tangent to the curve when the concentration of butadiene is 0.012. So if we read from 0.012, it hits the curve here and I've got to draw a tangent to the curve. Now, it's got to touch the curve there. It's not going to be on either one side or the other. It's just got to touch. And it's got to then just be equidistant, the same distance from the line either side as you can. It should look a little bit like that. So it's got to touch the curve, just touch the curve there, and it's got to be equidistant between the two. And that will get you the mark for there. Now, what's the next question? I've done a little bit of a spoiler here. The initial rate of the reaction in the experiment has a value of 4.57 times 10 to the minus 4. That means the initial rate is the tangent here, at that point, at time 0. So at time 0, here is the initial rate. And I've been given the initial rate here as 4.57 times 10 to the minus 4. So that's at this point here. Now it tells me the tangent, the gradient of the tangent, at this point concentration of 0.18 is this because the rate equals the, the the gradient of the tangent so the gradient of the tangent here at 0.018 or the rate is this value here so the concentration of butadiene 0.018 at the initial time 0 has a rate of 0.0000457 or 4.57 times 10 to the minus 4 and these are, are the um, the gradients of the line, the tangent to the curve. So I also know at 0.012 I've been asked to draw a tangent. Now why would they ask me to draw a tangent? Only because the only reason they draw me a tangent to the curve is to work out the gradient. The gradient is the height, 0.016 divided by the uh, width, the x-axis which is 8000, and 0.016 divided by 8000 equals 0.0000205. So at concentration 0.12 here, 0.012, the gradient is this. So I've got these two values now. Now this might be slightly out because I've just estimated a tangent. So it might be slightly out, but we'll have a look what happens. Now the rate equals k, the rate constant, multiplied by the concentrations of the reactants each the powers and the powers that the two are the orders with respect to that reactant. Now we've only got one reactant, we've only got one reactant here, here is butadiene. So I know my rate equation, rate equals the rate constant multiplied by the concentration of butadiene, but I don't know the order with respect to butadiene. And that's what we're trying to find out, and that's what we've got to match to a 2. So I've got to prove that it's a 2. So what have I got? I've got two experiments. So I take the concentration from experiment 2, which is 0.012, I divide by the concentration of 0.018. I haven't got any other reactants in there, so I've just got the rate is 0.0000205 in experiment 2, divided by 0.0000457 here. Um, I calculate these two, and 0.67, which is 0.012, divided by 0.18, to the power question mark. I don't know what that is. That's the order with respect to butadiene that I'm hoping is come out, coming out to be a 2 equals 0.431. Now if that was uh, the order with respect to uh, a chemical uh, like butadiene or anything, the order with respect to any one of these chemicals in a rate equation is either a 0 to 1 or a 2. If it's a 0, 0 0.67 should equal 0. Point, should, if it's a 0, it should equal 1. Well it doesn't equal 1. If it's uh, a 1, that's a 1, 0.67 equals itself. Well, it doesn't. So let's try a 2. 0.67 squared is 0.45. That's very, very close to 0.431. And so for an experiment, uh, we're going to go with a 2. Um, that's quite close, really, considering that we've hand-drawn a tangent.